hello everyone welcome back again to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to draft this top pattern it's a lovely top so please keep on watching so below is the measurement which i'll be using to draft this pattern so please let's go to the work table and also if you have not subscribed before please don't forget to subscribe and share my video and give my video a thumbs up this tutorial these are the items which i'll be using my tape measure my ruler I don't need this one and my paper for illustration so if you want to know how to cut out of fabric right so because I'm just trying to manage my paper so I'm not going to fold my paper into two like this but if you want to fold your fabric right let's say this is your fabric for the back panel and this is your front panel so you you place it like this on top of each other like this make sure the edge and this side and this side are all equal because there's no zip on this top so because my pattern paper i did not fold it into two what i did was just one like this fold it like this and I place it here like this this will be the front panel and that will be the back panel so I'm just using that as a formula to show you but on your fabric make sure that you place it up this is the front panel and this is the back panel make sure you place it like this on top of each other like so but like I earlier said this is for this I just show you the formula on how to draft that pattern so if you want to know how to measure out your fabric for this style if you want to know how to measure out your fabric for this style you take your shoulder a shoulder measurement to your under boss this one is a different i'm not showing you how to do this one I'm not sure how to do this but i'm just going to show you how to draft the top bit of this top the bottom bit i did a video on how to gather your akara you use your bottom that's that's that video you just watch it and there i took my time on explaining how to achieve this bottom bit which they gathered akara um top now if you want to know how to measure as your fabric what you do here is this if you want to calculate how to measure it out on your you know your fabric what you do here is this you take your half of your shoulder my shoulder here is 17 inches so if you divide it by two you get 8.5 then you start take your sleeve length the sleeve length i'm using for this dry is 21 inches so if you have 21 inches plus 8.5 there you know at the amount of fabric you're going to cut out and also make sure you had your sewing allowance you can have sewing allowance like three inches to the 8.5 and the and the 21 inches then you get the exact amount of fabric you're going to cut out that is you know what to cut out from your width yeah then if you want to cut out if you want to know the length what you do is the measurement i'm using today is uh, my from my shoulder to my under boss is 18 inches plus two inches for my sewing allowance so it's 20 inches so your length will now be from year to year to be 20 inches so let's get down to my drafting so yeah, I often, I've already draw at a straight line where I'm going to start drafting out my pattern from. So, if you want to know the first thing to do, the first thing you're going to put on here today is your shoulder to shoulder measurement. Shoulder to shoulder measurement is 17 inches. I divide by 5 is 8.5. So, I take my tape measure like this. I'll put in. 8.5 like so 
this is 8.5 here then my sleeve length is 21 inches so i'll place my tape measure here like so i'll bring it down what i have here is 21 inches and also one inch by sewing allow you can make it uh one and a half inches for your sleeve length for the bottom length allowance just to tidy up your sleeve bottom yeah i'm going to put 1.5 So on this part here, I will come down by, I'll come down by one inch. That is, this one is under my, the length of my sleeve. I'll come down by one inch here. So I'll leave that there. So now I'm going to start putting my straight body measurement, which is also your vertical body measurement. So I'll start with my neck width. My neck width is three inches. I'll go ahead like this. I put in three inches. Then my neck width is four inches. I'll go ahead like this. I put it four inches. Then I'm going to curve it out. Next thing I'm going to do is to put in my back neck measurement. My back neck width is sorry. My back length uh, depth is one point five. So I'll go ahead like this, I'll put in 1.5, then I'll curve it out. My ham hole is 19 inches, then divided by 2, I have 9.5. So under my shoulder here, I'll put in 9.5, I'll mark it out, now connect it to this side, and I'll rule it out. So now the next thing I'm going to do is to put in my shoulder to my boss point measurement. Shoulder to my boss point measurement is 13 inches. So I'll go to this place. I'll place my tape measure, measure my tape measure there. Then I'll just place it up like this, and I mark it out as well. This will be for my boss point. Then from my shoulder to my under boss is 18 inches. This would be my under boss measurement from there. Then, because this part of is not enough, then I will not take one inch for my sewing allowance. Normally, I will advise you to take 1.5 for your sewing allowance, but because my pattern paper is not wide enough, so here yeah, I'm left with one inch. So now I'm going to rule out my measurements now the next thing i'm going to do here is to connect where my shoulder to shoulder measurement stop is the 8.5 so the length bottom length of my sleeve remember i left one inch here so i'm going to connect this line from here to there so after connecting from my shoulder to shoulder to my bottom length of my sleeve this will now create like a slope from this place the next thing I'm going to do is to put in my round body measurement, which is also called your horizontal body measurement. So, my round body measurement, remember this is the bust point. On the bust point is 44, and divided by 4, what I have is 11 inches. So, I'll go to my bust point measurement here like so. I'll place it 11 inches here. Then on my under boss is 9.8. Sorry, it's 39 inches. Divide by 4 is 9.8. So I'll go here like this. I'll make sure I add 9.8. Like so. So now at this part here, I'm going to add 5 inches to it. So from here, I'll add 5 inches to it. So this place to it as well, I'll have five inches to it. So now I'm going to mark it out. So after I 
adding the five inches allowances to my bust point and my under bust, I'll now connect, create like a curve from here to there, like so. Remember, this is the solid allowance, so I'll now bring it down to this place to my sewing allowance. Then I'll rule it out. Then I'll now create like a straight line to the end of my pattern paper from, from my boss point to the end of my pattern paper here. After creating a straight line on my boss point straight to the end of my fabric uh, pattern paper here, what I'll do here, remember my sleeve length stop here. I will now connect my sleeve length, my sleeve length to the end bit of my bust point here. So I'll place my ruler here like so. I'll create a straight line like so. Sorry. Like that. After doing this, you can use your free hand just to create like a curvy bit at the edge. If you don't want it to be a straight line, you can use like a curvy bit at the edge of this place, like so, to create that curve. So, after doing this, the next thing is to now put in your soil allowance at the bottom bit. So, I'll place here like this. I'll follow the shape of this part from the bottom bit to my sleeve length this way this way this way to the to the top of my to, to the end of my neck width here so what i'll do i'll just follow the shape of it and start bringing out one inch for my sewing allowance so i bring out one inch i just follow the shape one inch so i just follow the shape for one inch one inch one inch to this place, one inch. So I've created my sewing allowance from the bottom straight down to this way. Then when you get to this place, you also need to create your sewing allowance at the top bit or else your blouse will not come out nice. So from there, I'll just follow the shape from the top bit. I sew one inch. One inch, one inch. So I'm going to follow follow the shape from here. One inch, one inch, one inch till I get to the neck, to the neck width of this top. So what I want to say here is this: when you I've already collected you my one inch sewing allowance from the top bit. I just follow the shape of my sleeve length here. One inch, one inch, one inch, one inch, one inch, one inch. I pass my arm hole one inch till I get to my end of my neck width. One inch. This this allowance is for you to join the back panel and the front panel together. Because if you don't do this, you won't get the accurate measurement or the accurate, uh, yeah, the accurate measurement for your blouse. So this is extremely very important, the top bit and the side. Just to follow the shape and you get it. So now, having done this, I'm going to cut it out. So if I want to cut it out, I'm going to follow the shape here like so. I will take my scissors. I will follow the shape, I will cut from here, cut, 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 till I get to the dark bit of it. Then I will now cut off the back panel first. So I'm going to cut now. So now I've already cut out the back panel, so I'm going to take off the back panel now. So 
so my friends this is the back panel so now I'm going to cut off the front panel the front panel what you simply do is you go here like this and you cut from here like so so this is the front panel this is the front panel so now for the bottom bits I'm going to show you so now for the bottom bits here yeah this is exactly how the bottom bit looks like this is what I did for myself so these bottom bits I did a video on how to gather your Ankara using elastic so please have a look at that video I, I took my time to explain how to gather your Ankara with elastic so that's what that's the formula I used to gather this Ankara so now if you want to stitch gather your top you just use elastic to gather the bottom bit of your under boss and add it to your gathered Ankara with elastic there you get exactly the same style so have a look at that video I took a lot of time to explain how to gather your Ankara with elastic so have a look at that video and you see how I did that how I use that formula to do that Ankara wish I have there so now my friends I have to leave you please don't forget to subscribe and share my video and give my video a thumbs up and so for now I go now one peace one love and bye for now.